The ministries of Agriculture, Health and Education have signed a memorandum of understanding to improve St. Lucia's national school feeding program and school gardens. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Rural Development and Food Security has joined efforts with the Departments of Health and Education for the purpose of expressing their commitment to collaborate and integrate efforts to achieve the common aim of enhancing school gardens and the school feeding program in St. Lucia. The school feeding program aims to reduce hunger and improve food security in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for Poverty and Malnutrition. The Memorandum of Understanding forges greater international coordination of efforts for an improved and sustained national school feeding program. Permanent Secretary of the Department of Education, Michelle Charles, asserts that the school feeding program benefits not only students, but also parents, farmers and entire communities. We have noted the impact that insufficient or poor nutrition has had on our students. We are familiar too with scenarios where the absence of the school feeding program correlates closely with high absenteeism in schools. And we are, too co and we are all too cognizant of what can happen to our school-aged children who slip through the education cracks in part due to lack of food and fall prey to social ills. I say all of this to emphasize the point that the implementation of initiatives such as these have a far-reaching impact and augur well for our communities and society as a whole. This Memorandum of Understanding is supported by the CARICOM FAO Mexico Initiative, Cooperation for Climate Change, Adaptation and Resilience in the Caribbean. National Project Coordinator of the Food and Agriculture Organization's School Feeding Program, Sherry Ann Smith, explains that the framework of the initiative in light of COVID-19 supports participating countries in their efforts to protect livelihoods, ensure adequate access to healthy foods, and ensure sustainable management of natural resources. The Sustainable School Feeding Program initiative is based on activities such as the involvement of the Educational Committee, the adaptation of adequate and healthy school meals, implementation of educational school gardens, improvement of school kitchens and storage areas, direct purchases of product from local farmers and school gardens, improvement of the national school feeding policy in St. Lucia, an assessment of the health assessment of students. Our understanding is that school feeding in St. Lucia as elsewhere have long been established and recognized as an important instrument in facilitating learning, especially for poor and vulnerable children. Healthy and well-nourished children learn better. Representative from the Mexican Embassy based in St. Lucia, Carlos Ivan Gonzalez Osuna, underlines the Mexican government's commitment to aid in St. Lucia and deepening diplomatic ties. It is for me an honor and a satisfaction to participate in this ceremony that marks the launch of the part of the implementation of the project on resilient school feeding implementation uh, program, which is part of the Mexico CARICOM FAO initiative, Cooperation for Climate Change, Adaptation and Resilience in the Caribbean. Recently reoriented in order to mitigate the economic and social impacts generated by the COVID-19 disease and which has a budget of more than five and a half million US dollars, the entire, the entire, the entire initiative, uh, which benefit 14 countries in the region, including the six Eastern Caribbean states. The Memorandum of Understanding took place on Thursday, September 30th, 2021, at the Tissue Culture Conference Room in Union. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.